1984. It was a year to feel very Olympic. The torch for the Los Angeles Games came through San Diego. Fairbanks Ranch hosted the equestrian event. For only the second time since 1923, the Star of India sailed. The ship, which had made 20 trips around the world, was a sight to see on that November Sunday. The ship sailed, but Donald Sterling, owner of the San Diego Clippers, bailed. He moved his NBA team to Los Angeles. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. I am not guilty. Then Mayor of San Diego, Roger Hedgecock and friends, on trial for conspiracy and perjury charges. Hedgecock was accused of conspiring to set up a consulting firm with Tom Shepard and then funneling illegal campaign money through it from J. David Dominelli. Dominelli's girlfriend, Nancy Hoover, was also part of the case. Hedgecock eventually was cleared. Dominelli and Hoover had deeper problems. You're saying there still is money out there? There's real money out there? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Dominelli's $125 million Ponzi scheme collapsed and took with it greedy San Diegans after big, easy money. Dominelli and Hoover fled to the Caribbean and were later arrested in Miami, then went to prison. A routine traffic stop on a September night in Balboa Park suddenly left two San Diego police officers dead. Timothy Roop was shot as he approached a parked car with four people inside. He later died. Kimberly Tonahill, a backup officer, was shot and killed on the scene. Officer Gary Mitrovich was shot and survived. Uh, I feel very bad. I've uh, notified the mother of uh, Kimberly and talked to her family. Ten years later, Sheriff-elect Bill Collender remembers that night. It was 1.30 in the morning, and uh, as soon as she opened the door, she just went hysterical like, you, you or I would go, and uh, I will just never forget that moment. 25-year-old Joselito Cinco was found hiding in a swampy area of the park. The public demanded justice. Cinco was convicted of murder and sentenced to death. He committed suicide while in jail. If ever there was a year when we needed relief from news events that absolutely drained every emotion, it was 1984. And we got it. Who can ever forget watching a bunch of grown men playing a little kid's game right here? <laughs> Last place today, first place in 1984. The Padres helped us forget our troubles. In Pod, we trust. When the Padres win, it's nothing new. The Padres are... One pitch, a one hopper to Nettles, to Wiggins, and the Padres have the National League Senate. Oh, Doctor, you can hang a star on that, baby! The Padres were Cub Busters, but lost to Detroit in the World Series. So what? At a time when we needed it very much, we were winners.